for coming. Beavers pick it up, and that's a pick six. Clark Phillips twice in a quarter. Oh, well, they're going to rule that interception. It is the third for Phillips. Shoot. God said this week was the one that we was going to get three. Mark Phillips had a day. Wow. He's one of the best cornerbacks in college football. Yet Oregon State came up with the bold strategy of throwing his way Saturday. <laughs> I don't know about that. Bold, yes, but a bad choice. Clark was ready, and he made them pay. Not once, not twice, but of course, three times. Clark's hat trick helped the Utes earn a 42-16 win over the Beavers. His effort has earned him the honor of being chosen the Walter Camp National Defensive Player of the Week. Three interceptions in a game is the most by any FBS player this season and ties for second all-time in Utah history. And the most since Robert Johnson did it in 2009. His four picks on the season are tied for first in the nation. Shoot, man, Coach Galley put us in a position to be able to capitalize on it. I just so happened to be the outside corner at that, at, on that play. And as um, soon as I seen the ball, the quarterback, the ball snapped and the quarterback look, I said, this is the one. Exceptional quickness and speed, first of all. Speed and quickness is his big thing, along with film study. There's nobody that studies more film than Clark. And, and uh, that leads to big plays. The more film you study, the, the, the more big plays you're going to make. Shoot, guys said this week was the one that we was going to get three. Stevenson Sylvester joins us now, and you were there when Robert Johnson got three in a game back then, but Clark Phillips is a special talent. Your reaction to watching him pull that off and just how good is he? Man, he is amazing. Exactly what Coach Whittingham said. If, if he's in position to make plays, he's going to make them. But it's his confidence that really takes me uh, from the Rose Bowl to this year to even his freshman year in 2020. This guy, every single time he's on the field, he's expecting to make a big play. Okay, but one thing that stood out in the game, of course, they were shorthanded. No Brant Keithy, Solomon Innes was out as well. Mm -hmm. Yet they still had plenty of options on the offensive side for Cam Rising. He hit eight different receivers in this game. Yeah, no question. And that's my biggest takeaway from this game is how many people they got involved or how many people was in the rotation from Devon Bailey to Logan Kendall, Money Parks, Dalton Kincaid, Thomas Yasmin. I mean, we got running backs from Makai Bernard, Jalen Dixon, and Maneer McClain, Jalen Glover. These guys were all a part of the passing game, which is awesome. But the play that I want to break down was the very first touchdown. Jalen Dixon get in the Mix. He's going to be a big part of this offense because he's a guy that can blow the top off of any defense. So uh, th this was great. It was a third down and four uh, uh, right after a turnover. Uh, Utah was just in position and they had to take advantage of it. But the biggest thing is Cam Rising here, his pre-snap read here. Uh, it's third and four, so all these defenders are flat-footed, you know, protecting the first down marker. So what they want to do is they want to run a streak here to clear out the stick, but they don't have a post safety over. It's a big void. Cam Rising sees that and he's like, which option am I going to get to? So normally you run this streak to, to give room to Dalton Kincaid to do an out route or a hitch route, but here Jalen Dixon has one-on-one -on -one coverage, the fastest guy on the team. Cam Rising notices that when this safety is all the way over there and continuing to walk over there, he's like, I know exactly where I'm going. He gets a free release. The defender doesn't even touch Jalen Dixon and a nice touch pass right over the top, right into the bread basket. Speaking of bad choices, that was not a good choice for Oregon State. <laughs> the Utes roll. Sly, this is great for the Utes because this is what Kyle Whittingham's been calling for is to use more of these weapons, get the ball to all of these guys. That's a great list you just read there. This is a great development for Utah moving forward.